Hello, welcome back to another episode of the Daily Longhorn News. Today is February 13th, 2020. It's a beautiful Thursday, which means it's also an end day, the second flex day of the week. Today, for second chance breakfast, we have a chocolate whole grain donut. And for lunch, we have a chicken quesadilla or a choice of yogurt with a muffin or salad. The sides are to tortilla chips, tomato salsa, black bean salsa, broccoli florets, carrots, or an apple. Now to Jackson with announcements. For the announcements, <clears throat> all we got is bowling at 3 p.m. in Garden City, and then also there's no school on Friday. No school at all. None. Don't be there. We have one big announcement for you. Tomorrow is homecoming. That means two things. Basketball and queens and queens, right? Holcomb will be playing the Ulysses Tigers at home. Girls at 6, boys at 7.30 or 8. Um, so now you may be wondering, who are the candidates for king and queen? Well, we have them right here. Alexis Springsteen will be walking with Jackson Stoffel. Rebecca Rhodes will be walking with Drew Hill. Brooklyn, Brooklyn Knoll will be walking with Sebastian Munoz. Maddie Rhodes will be walking with Alex Franco. And Kaylin Amos will be walking with yours truly, me, Derek. Uh, don't forget to vote. The winner will be announced Friday after the game. And now, Trey Cox with the weather. Thank you, Derek. Today will be a slightly cloudy day with a high of 31 and a low of 60. Back to you, Derek. Thank you, Trey. And now, going to the Hill Bros with a new segment we call Fake News. Welcome to a new segment called Fake News, where we will tell you four news headlines. All of them are real except one. Your job is to figure out which one is fake news. And these are the headlines for today. Police tells a 101-year-old man his parents must confirm his ID. A man attempting to rob McDonald's through the drive-thru was told to pull forward by an employee. A poacher dead after a shot elephant fell on him. And Kansas City man will pay you $25,000 to be his girlfriend. If you guessed, man attempting to rob McDonald's through the drive-thru was told to pull forward by an employee, you were correct. And now, time for the meme of the day. How did you turn it on? <laughs> <laughs> turn it on? <laughs> <laughs> chill out, chill out, calm down. Oh, bro, calm down, calm down, bro. Thank you, Hill Bros. Well, that's a wrap. We'd like to thank the viewers again for an amazing first week of the Longhorn Daily News. We hope you continue to enjoy our daily newscasts. This has been your daily news for today, February 13th, 2020. This is me, Derek Mesa. And Jackson Stoffel. Signing off. See you next week.